what's up? So, I'm just going to be running around doing a bunch of side quests, uh, running around Haran for a while, giving you my thoughts on the game, kind of a review in progress. Um, I wasn't originally planning to buy this game. Uh, I broke down, uh, decided I wanted to try something new, I was getting a little bored with my other games. Uh, and I've been pleasantly surprised by this game. I've enjoyed uh, pretty much the whole time of playing with it. It's uh, very different from other things out there. Especially, well, the parkour system is what makes it stand out. Now, when I first started playing this game, it was very much like a horror game. You didn't want to come into contact with pretty much anything. And you didn't want to waste supplies, you didn't want to waste med kits. Uh, you wanted to avoid every type of zombie there was, especially at nighttime, like it is now. Because that's when all the crazy zombies come out once rape you pretty much and then uh, the story isn't as bad as a lot I've been reading about from a lot of reviews and stuff like that I didn't mind it at all uh, there are definitely video games out there with a lot worse stories than this game now that's my favorite move to do right there a little bit of Far Cry mixed in there reminds me of then at night isn't the ideal place to be when you want to do side quests unless you really care about getting the, the XP and leveling up quickly because you do get double XP at night for your power and your agility levels. Your survival levels, you, you do not get double XP. Then uh, lockpicking right here is actually the main part of the game. Lockpick uh, chests, doors, a bunch of stuff. But I've, yeah, I've enjoyed this game so far. Um, it's really frustrating at the beginning sometimes, though, because they have a system to where when you die, you lose uh, survivor points, which is the XP you earn for the survival uh, skill tree. And if you haven't seen the skill trees yet, here's the skill trees right here. So you have survivor rank, agility level, and power level. Your survivor skills, as you can see, like right here, like backpacker, uh, learn how to use space in your backpack more efficiently, gain four new slots for carrying weapons, uh, so you know, you can craft a shield. Camouflage is actually the most useful skill you will ever get, because you basically take the zombies' guts and rub them on you, and the zombies ignore you, except for the, the really big zombies, and the, the special zombies basically can still see you. Uh, and then you get stuff like, you know, learn how to craft grenades, uh, learn how to use exploding car traps, fence traps, stuff like that. And then agility, basically all about movement, uh, dodge, uh, you know, get better at running, parkour in general, escape so when you get grabbed by a biter, you can throw them off more quickly. Now, now my favorite is the vault, uh, wherever that is. So basically vault, you run up to a enemy you jump on top of their head and then if you get drop attack you can actually vault onto their head drop right back down which you saw me do earlier and just gut them basically kill them in one hit and then you got the power tree which is all about getting more efficient with weapons and more ways to kill them now whereas there's one to where that's very useful right here stomp so basically when you knock an enemy on the ground you can run up to them and press and just explode their heads and they're they're gone uh, I found that one very useful and then just in general like take down press square when you're behind an enemy to execute so basically just becoming more efficient in general of killing them now you only lose survivor points when you die you will not lose power points or agility points and half the time you won't lose survivor points I don't really know what system they got going on there because sometimes you die and you'll lose 4,000 survivor points and other times you'll die and you won't lose a damn thing. So I don't really know what system they have going on there. Now I'm just kind of running around doing nothing so I'll, I'll try and head to uh, quest right now. Here's the basic interface, the map, you know, all the green ones are safe houses you can unlock. Now if you're really into to trophies, which I am, uh, there's a few glitched ones in here that I've heard of. I've ran into one of them which is uh, capturing all the safe zones did not unlock for me but luckily there's a little uh, a little way you can get around that it's just if you ever I'm sure if you're really into trophies you know what uh, playstationtrophies.org is go on there they have a pretty easy way to work around it 
as well as a uh, quarantine z get capture all quarantine zones trophy is supposed to be glitched as well but uh, it didn't it worked for me just fine so then here's a quest I have a ton of side quests open right now uh, I'm gonna look at the map and see which one's closest and go do that one gather three batteries from the buses at the main ba bus station so I'll go ahead and do that one and I will set that as my main quest see if I can find it Okay, so now that's set as my main quest, so you can pretty much track anything so it shows up on your radar. Yeah, so this game, uh, this game's actually really fun. Uh, it's very different. The parkour system is very interesting. You see there, I just activated a car trap. Attracted all the zombies and it's gonna explode and kill some of them. All that double points out of right there. Now it's very cool when you search for stuff in this game, uh, it gets highlighted orange right here. It's a very useful, a lot of games, you know, they'll go, go search this general area without telling you where to go. This one actually will highlight the area orange. Oh shit. See, and this thing will spit at you. Might cut him up. Search his body. Get his camouflage. Now. Most zombies can't see me, but that spitter over there can. I have a really badass weapon right now, that's why they're all dying in one hit. It's kind of like a, a Borderlands type loot system in this game, where see my weapon in the bottom right hand corner, that's orange. I think those are the best weapons in the game, the orange ones. And then you can get as well as green. So there's, basically it's like Borderlands, so white will be common. Uh, green will be less common, blue starts to get rare, purple's rare, you know, and orange are like the, the legendary ones with better stats, basically, and you can upgrade them by going, clicking L2 on it, and you can upgrade, and you see I have three different upgrades on it right now, so my stats are pretty boost on this, uh, boosted on this weapon, and you can also craft things, so right now I have it crafted to where it has fire on it as well. So this weapon is serving me very well. Now let's see if I can find three batteries. Oh shit, see those guys right there? They can see you through the camouflage. I try and stay in camouflage as much as possible. So it makes things so much easier. all over the place. Hey buddy, what's up? Oh, I got a car battery. Let's go check the other buses. the badass that you want to stay away from. Luckily, your camouflage hides you from them. Yo. Now this is easy, there's different difficulty levels of lock picking. Easy, medium, hard, and very hard. Sweet, car battery. Oh, see I'm out of camo now. Oh. Where's he? There's an easy zone. Oh. If you 
run into the zombie, that particular zombie will recognize you, but the other zombies will not. Uh, if you, you have to get a certain skill for that, where zombies won't recognize you when you're slashing up other zombies. Okay, I've got three car batteries. I gotta deliver the batteries to the point. And that's what a lot of the missions are in this game, is, you know, go find this, go find that, bring it back to this person. Um, the story doesn't fall into too much to how you play the game and how you act throughout the game. Especially in the cutscenes, I wish they were more interactive. When you play the game, you'll you'll figure that out. The like, cutscenes are always trying to make you all emotional and, you know, get you to make choices, but then they don't have you make any choices. I'm on camera right now. I'm gonna activate this car trap, track all those things, and get the hell away. See, now I leveled up my agility right there. Level 20. See, so yeah, I have a skill unlocked where I can slightly run up walls. That helps a lot. I also have a skill to where I can roll when I hit the ground. Here are your batteries. Better check them for bite. Well done. How much more do you need to nope. do? None of your business. Side quest completed. I think I'm going to end my video right there. Uh, I'll be discussing more Dying Light in the upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. You're amazing people, all of you.